Maya Sakamoto, born March 31, 1980, is a Japanese actress and singer. She made her debut as a voice actress in 1992 as the voice of Ifuru in the anime title Little Twins and become known as the voice of Hitomi Kanzaki in The Vision of Escaflown. Born in Tokyo, Sakamoto grew up in a family formed by her parents and her older brother. She started working as an office actress in a very early age and the first leading role she was given was in the 1993 in the OVA Little Twins. In 1986 she was given the role of Hitomi Kanzaki, the leading role in the TV anime series The Vision of Escaflown. For this anime she also performed the opening theme, which was released as her debut single on April 24, 1996. The single was produced by Yoko Kano, who was also in charge of the soundtrack for Escaflown. Her first album, Grapefruit, was released on April 23, 1997. Sakamoto's early music was produced by Kano and her team, which included Yuho Iwasato, Shakti Shinder and Tim Jensen. Sakamoto worked, worked almost exclusively with Kano and company for almost a decade. Apart from her work as a voice actress and singer, in October 1996, Sakamoto also debuted as a radio host presenting her own program, Sakamoto Maya no Naishi Banashi, on radio station NEC 5. Furthermore, Sakamoto also performed theme songs for several anime series including Gift for Slump School Detectives, Hiseki no Umi for Record of Lotus War, Chronicles of the Heroic Knight, and Platinum for Cardcaptor Sakura, which won the Best Team Song Award from Anime Grand Prix for two consecutive years. In 2002, Sakamoto worked once again with Kano and Yuho Iwasato for her 10th single, Hemisphere, the opening theme for the TV anime series Raxephon. Released on February 2021, 20, 2002. Hemisphere picking at number 22 in the Oricon and number 24 in the Countdown TV weekly charts. In 2003, Sakamoto made her debut as a theater actress on the Japanese version of the musical Les Miserables, playing the role of Ephonine. This year, she also starred in her first TV drama. Sueko Shonan Ane Sanin, and also played the leading role in the short film Zero Three, directed by Idenori Sugimori. On the other hand, Sakamoto's 11th single, Tune the Rainbow, which was used as the main theme song for saxophone Plutaras Concerto, the only anime movie that was nominated for the 35th saying on awards for best dramatic presentation, became her first top 10 single in Japan, picking at number 9 in the Oricon Weekly Charts. Her fourth album, Sean and Alice, released on December 10, 2003, becoming her first top 10 album on the Oricon Charts and also her last record to be produced exclusively by Yoko Kano. Since this release, Sakamoto would involved further in the music making process and production of her records. Her fifth album, Yanagi Loop, released on October 26, 2005, was her first co-produced by herself along with musician Mitsuyoshi Tamura, whom she would continue working in her subsequent records. This album only single Loop, the ending theme for TV anime series Tubasa Chronicle, Picked at number 7 on the Oricon charts, also became, becoming the highest chart picking single at that time. For this album, Sakamoto has collaborated with many various well known lyricists and compos composers, including Yuho Iwasato, Haruchi Shinto, Robin Fredrickson, and Shusui. In 2008, Sakamoto worked once again with Yoko Kano for her 50th single, Triangular, which was used as an opening theme for TV anime series Macros Frontier. Triangular became a big hit, peaking at the top 3 single of the Oricon charts. 
this single ended up becoming Sakamoto's biggest selling single to date with more than 90,000 copies. Uh, the song was later included in Sakamoto's sixth album, Kazuyomi, which was released in January 2009, and also peaked with, within the top three. For promoting this album, Sakamoto began her first low scale national tour, on which she held three concerts in Nagoya, Osaka, and Tokyo. The tour was later released as her first live DVD on August 11, 2011. In 2010, Sakamoto collaborated with 50th Anniversary in the entertainment industry, releasing on March 35, near 30th birthday, her greatest hits album Everywhere, and also holding a concert at the Nippon Bokudan. Also in 2010, Sakamoto was playing the role of Ritsuko no Nomura in Japanese musical adaptation of the South Korean movie A Moment to Remember along with Rina Chinen and Rina Uchiyama. In 2011, her seventh album, You Can't Catch Me, became her first album to reach the first stop of the Oricon charts. Her 2012 Mitsubishi tour concluded with the announcement at her New Year's Eve concert of a new full-length album of songs written and composed solely by Sakamoto, as well as a short concert tour to support it. The album, titled Singer Songwriter, featured two new versions of Sakamoto's preview compositions Everywhere and Chikai, as well as eight original tracks. On September 25, 2017, the NHK Anime World website revealed that Sakamoto will perform Clear, the opening song for the anime adaptation of the card captor Sakura, Clear World. Sakamoto and Yoshiki Mizuno from Pike Monogatari co-written the song lyrics, while music arrangement was arranged by Shin Kono. Other major anime roles include uh, Leila Malkal in Code Geass, Akito the Exiled, Jan Diark in Fate Apocrypha, Shikir Yogi in The Garden of Sinners, Eto in Tokyo Ghoul, Rino Yamazaki in Nightwalker, The My Night Detective, Moe Katsuragi in Risky Safety, Princess Tomoyo in Tsubasa Reservoir Chronicle, Haruki Fujioka in Oran High School Host Club, Sayaka Nakasugi in Birdy the Mighty Seal, Phantom Hive in Black Butler, Shinobu Oshino in Monogatari, Luna Maria Hawk in Mobile Suit Gundam Sea Destiny, Merlin in Seven Deadly Sins, Moto Kokusanagi in Ghost of the Shell Arise, Vinela in Season 3 of Art Online and the Kidna in ReZero Starting Life in Another World. Sakamoto graduated from Tokyo University with a bachelor degree in sociology in sociology in 2002. On August 8, 2011, she married fellow voice actor and frequent co-star Kenichi Suzumura. On December 27, 2021, she announced that she was expecting her first child with Suzumura. On April 20, 21, 2022, the couple announced the birth of their first child. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this kind of different video from me. I think I'll make the whole series about anime voice actors because I think they need at least some recognition. And again, if you like this video, please share, comment and like. And see you all in the next one.